Hello, this is Dr. Daniel Gulo, the Joseph S. McAuliffe Curator of the Malta Study Center and current project coordinator for VHIMO 3.0, a project funded by the National Endowment for the Humanities. And on behalf of Father Columbus Stewart, our Executive Director, John Meyerhofer, our Systems Librarian, and Brian Lohr, our programmer from Solutions Design Group, I'm pleased today to talk about some major upgrades we are introducing to our VHIMO system. So to begin with, let's take a quick look at what we see here, which is the new landing page that we released in August 2018. It was a landing page designed largely to do two things. First, to provide easier navigation to the components of vHimmel, including school and lexi lexicon and reference and folio and reading room, but also included a new feature, which was our vHimmel news page here, which allows people to uh, click and see news about vHimmel, including things like new advances in the technology, uh, but also new collections added to the system. Uh, this was done largely because we needed a system, um, and, or I should say a UI design, which was better suited for laptops. And also we wanted to create site consistency, meaning that other pages on the site would follow suit and mirror what you see here on the landing page. And this leads us to our big update or updates for today. And the first one, of course, is going to be Reading Room. Reading Room has received a complete design makeover on its landing page, now following the uh, design that we have on the main landing page. We have added a system of cards on the landing page so you can see easy access to our collections. Uh, this, these access cards here will rotate, so you will find new ways to look into our collections simply by clicking a button. So, for example, if you're interested in the Archdiocese of Kharkouk, you can click on this and it will take you directly to that as a featured collection. But also things like scripts with Certo, manuscripts in Arabic, uh, our Malta collections, decorated initials, and so forth. And we'll be highlighting different parts of the collection um, by changing the content of these cards over time. Another important feature are these three cards up here in the corner, cards which um, are contain information frequently asked um, to us here at the library. For instance, uh, people ask what's currently in Reading Room, and we've created this handy uh, basic database where you can go in and find what is in Reading Room now. Um, note that these do not link directly to the collections. It's simply a database uh, to let you know what's there and the state of the cataloging for that collection. You can simply go back to Reading Room and search for the collection once you find the information. The same tr thing holds true for our uncatalogued collections. We're also frequently asked about projects where we have done digitization, but where um, the records are not yet cataloged. And now you can come to this website and take a quick look at places where we have worked, but are not currently available in uh, VHIMO. These uh, collections uh, are mostly available here at the Hill Museum and Manuscript Library, and so you can apply for some of our uh, fellowships to come and study them locally until they are placed in Reading Room. And finally, there's a link to our old catalog, our legacy catalog, which will be available for the next 12 months until all of the data is migrated to Reading Room. Now, in addition to these basic uh, access points, uh, we have updated search. Search is now located in the central black bar and it is now a complete keyword and advanced search at the same time. The keyword search is located here in the upper corner. And then, of course, you have your advanced search options here. So, for example, if I wanted to search Spain as a place where manuscripts could be found, I can click Spain and it would bring up all 3,907 records that have Spain as part of a keyword search. The search is saved. And so if I click on it, you'll see that the record is there. So if I change this to do Spain and let's say Latin manuscripts and also manuscripts before um, 1325 and I do a search, you will see now I have 1,487 manuscripts, but the data is still saved after the search. So you can facet your search and keep it there when you're looking at um, our collection. 
The description panel opens up as normal, uh, but now you have more room to see the information. And our Back to Results button is now in this nice green to remind you to use the Back to Results button to go back to the search results rather than the Back button where you would uh, lose that data. You can clear your search and start over again within the search panel. And in so doing, you can do uh, see our do digital images now with more space um, to look at them. So if I look at our HMML project number here, um, you can see how uh, our digital images will be appearing in the record. Again, using uh, results to go back to results. So that is a brief introduction to Reading Room. Um, we have uh, changed this also for our two other applications, Lexicon and Reference. Lexicon and Reference now follow the same design format with the search bar in the center. This is just a simple uh, keyword search, so you can search for things like Acanthus and find it within our database and then go and look at the uh, record of information located there and close to go back. Also for our reference database we have created a simple search feature which is also uh, um, a basic keyword so if I look for Thomas Leslie's records I can see them and then it brings up the record there which I can then email to myself um, if I want to keep that data. Uh, these are the main feature updates for the month of September 2018. Uh, by the end of September, we will be updating both Folio and releasing a brand new application called Data Portal. So uh, please stay tuned for that. And School, of course, will also fit into our design project, uh, which will be uh, released uh, later this fall. Thank you very much.